Let me read a small short passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 onwards. But thanks to be to God, for in union with Christ, we are always led by God as prisoners in Christ's victory, procession. God uses us to make the knowledge about Christ spread everywhere like a sweet fragrance. For we are like a sweet smelling incense offered by Christ to God, which spreads among those who are being saved and those who are being lost. For those who are being lost is a deadly stench that kills, but for those who are being saved, it is fragrance that brings life. Who then is capable of such a task? We are not like so many others who handle God's message as if it were cheap mercantile. But because God has sent us, we speak with sincerity in His presence as servants of Christ. Uh, dear Thomas Paul and dear fathers and sisters, the passage we heard, Second Corinthians, chapter 2, verses 14 to uh, 16. There are three times the word fragrance is used here, sweet smelling. And at the end we heard, we are not like others. We are specially called to proclaim the message. You know, this workshop and evangelization is meant to have this fragrance in us which communicates to others the message of Christ. You know, in a, the, another translation, St. Paul's, this verse, verse 15 says, we have become the fragrance of God in Christ Jesus. That is the basic duty of a missionary, to become the fragrance of Christ Jesus. It's by words, it's by deeds, it's by presence. And that's what St. Paul insists on that particular point, the by presence. By presence, we have become the fragrance of Christ Jesus. And every Christian, every baptized Christian is that, and in particular, every missionary. And you know, I'm happy to welcome uh, uh, Brother Thomas Paul. I know him from 95 or 96 onward, for the past almost 30 years. We preach a retreat here, and we have in, in, in contact on different other occasions. You know, he was an engineer. He resigned his office. I think he was in Korba, Madhya Pradesh. Huh? Where were you working? Where were you working as an engineer? Many places. Many places. Basically in Bombay, but I used to come to different Ah, yeah. He was in Bombay, but different parts of the country. And then he had an inner call, and he had decided to offer himself for Christ. And for the past, I think, 35 years or so, he has been involved in this ministry. Now, he is, I think, mainly based in uh, Austria, in Europe somewhere. And also, he goes all around. When I asked him, last time when he came for the retreat in December, I asked him, he told, uh, I'm ready to do for the mission, everything freely. He is coming of his own expense. We are giving only khana bina, nothing else. I mean, that is the passion for Christ, passion for the world, passion for the church. And we are all doing the same, but still in our heart, you know, sometimes we are inclined to think, oh, I did that much, so what did God give me? But, but he has not that kind of thoughts, I think. You know, he goes all around, and the whole day, totally spent for this. We all become tired after a few hours, but he doesn't become tired. I don't know why. So God's gift, God gives grace in different ways. So, Brother Thomas, Ford, we are happy to have you in our midst. And I wish you all the best in these next 10 days. And we have a number may increase slowly because the days of schools are going on, exams are there, and a lot of other activities, I think. But then, you know, quantity is not the matter, or the quality. The his number is there. If he, few people, uh, enrich 
by this workshop and we can spread it out and then many can be attracted towards that. So I thank you for your coming and I wish a fruitful days of worship and evangelization and the name of uh, Chanda family and all gathered here, fathers, sisters and others, I cordially welcome you. Hearty welcome. Eh? Thank you very much.